and welcome back. We are so excited to introduce you to a very special guest, jazz singer and trombonist, Aubrey Logan, who's performing tonight downtown at the Gillois. Thank you so much for good taking to time you. to come on. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, very yeah. good. All right, and introduce your pianist for oh, This us, is Nick would. Patrillo, Hi, one Nick. of the best hey, pianists on the face of the earth, and he's in my band. I right, well. Sweet. How much fun Shit is that? I, I have no words for it. <laughs> no it's, words. It's, ama have... it's an amazing experience. Uh, Aubrey, sure how, how did you get started in jazz? I mean, a lot of people mm -hmm. consider that kind of an outlier. You know, it, it's not rock, it's not pop, it's not kind of... Right. How did you get involved with jazz? What pulled you into it? Well, to, to, when I was a kid, I was in musical theater productions. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I was a little older, I wanted to be back at school with my friends. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, I started playing trombone because I wanted to be in the band with my friends. And oh. that, that's when jazz was introduced to me. So I noticed all these show tunes I used to sing uh -huh. were being sung also by jazz artists in more of a free way. Okay, but, there you go. But my show is very much rock and pop based. It's just played by jazz musicians. So there's, so it's really, you know, stories and songs that, that really are rock and pop song and structure, but they're yeah. played by jazz musicians for obvious reasons, because you just kind of can't get it out of your soul. So how, how did you get started with the trombone? What made you pick that? Because I was in band also, yeah. and I played the flute, not well. Um, but it was easy to tone around. The trombone looked to me like it was just too complicated. You rock this thing. What, what made you take to it so quickly? It's, it's just a slide, you know? It's, it's all, just, all yeah, there is to it. It's not That's all it is. It's that easy. Exactly. It has a moving part. It's yeah. complicated. Um, I was 12 years old, and my um, band director let me in the band a year late, even okay. though I hadn't learned with the other kids. That's a good band director to he do was, that. He had a lot of faith in me. And I, hi, Mr. Mines. And uh, I, <laughs> My dad was a band director at a different school at the time, and he brought home a few instruments for me oh. to try. I tried the French horn, the flute, the saxophone, and I tried the trombone, and I could make a sound on it, but I was really, I was an old soul as a kid. Oh. I was really into oh. Chicago and James Brown. A and oh, I yeah. saw trombones oh, in those yeah. bands, so yep. it just resonated with me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you, you've been referred to as queen of sass. You, you, you have to explain that one. <laughs> I, you know, somebody else referred me as the queen of sass. No, I, I think that... That's because whoever wrote that down wrote it in a review after coming to one of my shows, which is, um, we, we, we tell jokes, we tell bad jokes, and the audience still laughs. We, 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 we laugh a lot, we cry a lot, there's a lot of stories, and a lot of the songs are just kind of meant to be taken with a bit of a wink and a smile. So. What do you think, Nick? Is she the queen of sass? Absolutely. Okay. I can tell by the way you reacted. <laughs> Even in the van. You absolutely agree with yeah, that. Yeah, we, we ride in a van together, so he knows. <laughs> So describe your show. I mean, it's very sort of theatrical. You do jazz. You pick up that trombone and just rock it, which is amazing <laughs> to me. Do you do a little gymnastics or some such thing? Oh, there's a cartwheel with oh, one there's hand. There's a cartwheel. Got it. Oh, a one-hand cartwheel. There's some cartwheels. But because, it's, you know, it's, it's my circus. No, the show is, is very <laughs> musical. And it's musical from start to finish. It definitely takes people on a musical journey, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, most of the songs are mine, my originals, but I bring in a lot of... Um, well-known covers. We'll tribute Aretha Franklin tonight. Oh, nice. Um, and, and several other artists we love and know, and that everybody loves and knows. But um, for the majority of the show, it's my original songs, but, but it's, a, it's a story from start to finish. So there's moments of laughter. There's, there's, some, there's a lot of serious moments. Oh, okay. And then there's, there's a lot of moments where people want to clap their hands and sing along and join in. But, and, and then there's, there's intimate, quiet moments as well. So it's, it's a... I, I guess if cabaret were in the context of pop music, you, that, there you are at my show. I can't wait. You're going to move yeah. people back and forth is what you're going to do. A little bit. It's, yeah. it's, it's hopefully like the, the tradition of telling stories at a show, like in, at a jazz cabaret back mm -hmm. in the day, uh -huh. in the context of how music sounds now. Nice. That's what I'm And it it's all going to happen tonight at the Gillows. What are you playing for us now? I'm going to play uh, an original song called Pity Party. Can't wait. All right, All right, take it away, Aubrey Logan. Got me all inspired to set some common sense on fire. Too late to quit while I'm 
Well, my pity party's over, and I'm sorry it went so long. Too bad you couldn't make it, but it really wasn't all that fun. Oh, misery sucks to be me, waiting for the sun. Well, my pity party's over, ain't you glad that that's all done? I wanted to tell you not to leave me in my party of tears, but the eagle said get out and go home. I should put on my pants, get over it, but I just want to eat a pint of ice cream in the dark all alone. Oh, when I'm sick of getting nowhere, I'll call you on the phone so you could tell me what I want to hear. Well, I'll be bitching, moaning, whining, groaning, watching all my friends disappear. Well, my pity party's over, and I'm sorry it went so long. Too bad you couldn't make it, but it really wasn't all that fun. Oh, oh misery sucks to be me, waiting for the sun. Oh, my pity party's over. Ain't you glad that that's all done? Well, I remember when my mommy sat me down and she said, baby, when you're dumb, you gotta be tough. But mommy, other people do it wrong and other people take too long, so give me it, I'll do it myself. Oh, when I'm sick of getting nowhere, hungry as hell, and there ain't no more midnight oil to burn. Get over burger, taco, see you tomorrow. When that little girl got to learn, oh, my pity party's over. And I'm sorry it went so long. Too bad you couldn't make it, but it really wasn't all that fun. Whoa. To be me, waiting for the sun. Oh, my pity party's over. Ain't you glad? You're not invited. It doesn't matter because you're not invited. That's fine. You're not invited. I don't care because you weren't invited. Boo hoo. Yeah. Boo hoo. Well, my pity party's over. And maybe it went too long. When I know you had to go, that's okay because I had no fun. I love my misery. It sucks to be me. Look at that. Party's over. Oh, my pity party's over. Ain't you glad? So, so glad. I'm done. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Thank I you. told you you would love her. Thank you so much. No, I know where the sass comes from. I know where the sass comes from, and <laughs> it's all right here. All right, more music from Aubrey Logan in a few minutes. First, though, Jeremy builds it better, and Ozarks Live will be right back.